Now, Deanna, I do want to go ahead and jump into the different portion of our interview. And this is the lightning round game, which I love to do with my guests on here because it is so much fun to kind of just get inside and find out who you are as a person. So I'm going to ask you 10 questions. You answer them as fast as you can, and we'll just have some fun with it. Okay. <laughs> so are you guys ready for lightning round with Deanna Perrazzo? Let's do this. Here we go. Question number one, Deanna, what is your ideal date? What does it consist of? Ooh, um, I think just really good food. Um, I'm such like a, a big foodie now that I've been in Florida and, you know, we have, we have Disney Springs, we have Park Ave that's close to me. So I'm just like becoming a foodie. Um, I think just like a really good steak and like a glass of whiskey would, would, be the best night possible. <laughs> we just want to be fed. I completely yeah. agree with you. <laughs> Question number two, which TV movie character do you think you're most like? Or if you have a couple, you can name a couple. Or if you have a specific one, we can get your specific one. I honestly have no idea. It's um, a hard question, huh? That's such a hard question. Um, I have, honestly, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Yes, I know. I don't even think I could answer that one. Scratch it. Question number three. What's your favorite city to travel to? Tokyo, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't been to Tokyo, but what's your favorite thing from Tokyo? Oh, um, you know, just besides the food, I think it's it's just like, um, of course, the food. Um, I've just had some of my best memories there. And I feel like every time I'm there, and I, it just brings like back really good memories that I've met some of my best friends there. And I've had some of like the best times of my life. Um, so to always go back, it kind of brings back a piece of that with me, you know? Awesome. Question number four, who's your favorite person to travel with? Oh, um, uh, my instinct says Chelsea Green. Um, that is my favorite person to spend any time with. So, um, <laughs> you know, besides my boyfriend, but um, we don't get He's to probably going to be like, what the heck? You didn't, <laughs> name, you didn't um, name me your, your boyfriend, your best friend. <laughs> I just feel like I've spent a lot of time on the road with Chelsea. I've spent tons of times in airports with her. And, um, you know, when we do get time off, like, you know, last year we went to Palm Desert together and we just, um, you know, that's my best friend. So I have so much fun with her and I've, I've spent the majority of my wrestling career with her. So that's the person I feel like I've traveled the most with. Awesome. Question number five. What is your favorite dinner meal to eat? Ooh, I make this um like linguine with uh like uh, like a heavy cream sauce and some butter and then shrimp. Um and that is like our favorite meal hands down. It sounds delicious. <laughs> it's so good. Question number six what is your favorite animated movie? Ooh, um, a couple months ago, we watched The Good Dinosaur, I think is its name. Oh, I know it's in the book, but I haven't seen it. it. It was so good. And there's like this lost little caveman boy who's like gets lost from his family and the dinosaur helps him home. And the dinosaur like wants him to stay with him, but lets him go back. with. His I was crying. And that's like my favorite movie right now. I love it. I'm going to put it on my queue now. I'll think you of you when it. I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Question number seven, name the most played album or artist on your playlist. Ooh, um, I don't know what the album is called, but I feel like right now um, my Pandora playlist in the gym, I'm always listening to Nelly radio. Um, so I don't know if his album is country grammar, if that's the name of the album, but that I feel like plays 24 seven on, on my, uh, Pandora playlist right now. You're like, I don't care what it's called. Just hit play and let me listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good mix of like, you know, early two thousands and, and, um, you know, kind of current hip hop and, and whatever, but like, I just, that's my go-to radio right now. I like that. A little mix of the old and the new. I feel like we all go back to what we always listened to when we yeah. were like younger, but then also incorporate a mix of what we're into now. Yeah, no, I and that's not like what I put on in the car. Like I'm a big country music fan. So like uh, the country music station just automatically is on in the car and I don't change it. So to kind of get like some Cardi B and some kind of what's new in rap now is not what I would naturally gravitate towards. So I really like that in the gym and it kind of motivates me a little bit, you know? I love that. You actually led me into my next question. Question number eight, what keeps you motivated? Um, I think 
my family. I think right now it's it's kind of like I've never gotten to spend this much time home and this much time in like one place. So to kind of know that like, you know, my boyfriend and I, we have two dogs. Um, you know, they need a goddamn backyard. <laughs> we're building a house. We're doing all these things like that kind of is what keeps me motivated right now is just bigger picture. And, um, you know, I want to grow myself for my future. And, you know, I'm in school and, you know, I want to get a degree. So all of these things are going to help me post wrestling. And I think that's my biggest mindset is like, I want to set myself up for the best future post wrestling. That is amazing. I have to ask, what is it that you're trying to get your degree in? Um, history. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, perfect. I, not, I don't know if it's perfect timing, but it is sort of, you know, just interesting to have and be able to study that. It's what I've done in the last two or three semesters comparing to the craziness of the world right now. Um, compliments, not compliments, but compliments each other in terms of like, this is what we dealt with then and we're dealing with this now. And it's it's just it's interesting because it really relates to things that are going on in the world now and um, motivates me to continue to learn. And, you know, um, there's so many avenues that I could go with a history degree, whether it be political science or um, it be teaching. And the political science aspect really intrigues me right now. So um, it, it's it's interesting and it, it's there's a good like dichotomy between the two. So. I love that. I seriously love that. I'm excited to see how you incorporate that into your life. That is so awesome. Question number nine. What's something on your bucket list? Ooh, um, I don't know if we're going to tie it into wrestling. I think to, to I, I main evented with Jordan Grace at Emergence for our, our 30 minute um, Iron Man knockouts match. But I think I want to main event to pay-per-view. Yes, please. Yes. I, I That is a great bucket list item. <laughs> Last question. Question number 10. What is your favorite way to spend time off? Oh, I love to take the dog to the dog park. Um, and there's a lake there and they love to swim. And, um, you know, we have Fitzgerald, who is a Chihuahua Dox mix. And then Honey is a Lab Hound mix. So she's really big and he's really tiny and they chase each other and they love each other so much. And it's so fun to watch. Um, so those are the best ways to spend my time off. That is amazing. Deanna, thank you so much for playing this game with me. You were so much fun. It was so cool to kind of get to know you a little bit more. Uh, that is the end of our interview, but I want to thank you so much for coming on here and talking to me about Hard to Kill, that which is airing January 16th, so do not miss out. Again, all the links will be posted in the description box below. But Deanna, before we go, go ahead and plug in anything you want to go ahead and plug in. Yeah, everyone can follow me on social media at Deanna Perrazzo. Um, all accounts are verified. So at Deanna Perrazzo or only me. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo. This is Deanna Perrazzo and we'll see you later. Bye, everyone.